Good morning, everyone. Is everybody ready for class today? Thank you all for coming. Thank, thank you everyone for being here before the chat. You guys are amazing. There's already 132 people watching instantly. Um, it's a lot of fun. For those of you that don't know, we come to chat. Some come an hour before class. Some come like 30 minutes before class and we just chat and have breakfast together. And uh, we do cheers and things like that and just chat before this. So those of you that are new, I do this every Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And um, we try to learn something new in design space. And we, <laughs> you guys, this, um, thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe during my live video, your name will show up on the screen. If you became, become a channel member, your name will pop up on the screen with a little cheerleader cricket or a Patreon supporter, your name will also pop up. So thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you for subscribing to my channel and thanks just for being here and watching my videos. So today we have a few things before class. We're gonna pick some winners. Well, we're gonna pick one winner and I'm gonna announce the other winner. I did some videos earlier in this week, two videos for some uh, prizes to give away, some pretty awesome prizes um, that Cricut gave me to give away. So let's check over, let's go over here to my other screen. We're gonna do the Easy Press giveaway. So I did this earlier in the week. I had to give Cricut the winner uh, on Tuesday. So I had to choose this. It was only one day. I'm so sorry if you missed it. If you do not wanna miss my videos or any more giveaways that may not last very long, uh, please, click the subscribe and click that bell to get notifications. And a big shout out to Michael Crow who had a birthday yesterday. I hope it was an awesome birthday. So Barb Culp won the Easy Press. She got to choose which one she wanted and she was smart and chose the big one because when you win something, why not choose the most expensive one? So thanks Barb for entering and thank you all for entering the giveaway. Uh, and today we are going to choose live. I don't know who the winner is yet. We're going to choose live who wins the true control knife, the decorative self-healing mat, and the ruler. Okay, I, and I'm not sure if you get the, the extra blades. They didn't say that, but I use this picture because it's so pretty. Um... So we're gonna choose that live. So I have to go over to this one. This is how Rafflecopter works. Once I choose the winner, it will show kind of like this one. So I get so many questions. Well, who won, who won? Um, you could have went and saw the winner of the Easy Press just by going to the same link you enter in. By going to that same link you enter in, you, um, can find this. It says just the first name and uh, initial, and I emailed her. And this one just says this contest is, has no longer accepting entries. It ended at midnight last night. You had five days to enter this one. So if you missed it, I'm really sorry that you don't watch all the videos. Um, we have 1,913 entries in this one. You did have to watch the video to get the secret word. So we're going to choose this one. Yay, Dorisa joined our channel. Welcome. Okay, so we are going to choose a random winner. This is done by random.org. And I'm going to switch over to this one after I click this button because I think it gives the email and stuff. So it's going to choose a random winner. Oh, I have to choose to put it in there. And it is somebody in the... Um, new group. Let me put that over here. I have to... Oh, here. Display 
winner. So I'm going to refresh. The winner is Maria E. She did do the secret word. If the secret word was wrong, we would have picked a new one. So it's Maria Escobar. So she is the winner. Congratulations, Maria. I will email her later today. Hopefully she watches the video first. It's so much fun to see that you won. Okay. Today... I thought we would work on text or it can be any image, adding the patterns to any images. I've kind of shown this before, um, but I thought, and I, I actually changed these to print. Let me zoom out here a little bit. So these are just random snowflakes that I found in Design Space and just a text that I added and then I slice through the text with the snowflakes. And I can hide. I change these to print. Let me change them back to cut. Only to show you guys, just it gives a darker image. Let's change the background color. Now you could put this all together like this, or you could hide this and just have the snowflakes going through it. And if you have a white background or Maybe you want the letters to be white and have a blue background. Now, is this something you guys are interested in? Do you want to know how to do that? And if you have any ideas for any other words or images, let me know. So let's move this down for now. So we're going to add text. Oh, here's the text box. Uh, I'll just show you how I did this one. And please let me know if you have any other ideas that you want to see. Okay, here's the let it snow. Oh, wait. I always do this. I want to put it in all caps just because it shows better, I think. And we're gonna pick a different font. I like to choose a thicker font. And I think the one, let's do Arial Black. Arial Black. It's just a nice thick font. I'm just going to use this one for now, and you guys can use any one you want. I'm going to move the letters closer together. Letter spacing. Oh, maybe not that close. Okay, and then I'm going to go to more advanced. Ungroup to lines. Because I want to make this word even with these words. That's what I did here. See how that's even? Just think it looks better that way. So I'm gonna click the lock here, unlock it, and make it a little bigger. I can move that up. I think I can even make these bold. I don't know if that actually changed or not. Okay. Now I can, and if you have questions, please put everything in all caps so I can, um, oh my gosh, creepy for Halloween with bugs and spider webs. Okay, let's do that one. That's a great idea. I already did let it snow. You can see it. <laughs> let's do creepy. Um. I can also show you uh, exactly how I did this Let It Snow. There's another one. And I have all the... Do you see over here? These are the snowflakes. 
I just took snowflakes and made them different sizes and welded them together. But I'll show you that because I'm going to do it with these. Let's make it taller. Okay, I'm going to ungroup this because I want this Y closer. And you can use the arrow keys to move things closer together. And if you want them all completely even, if you might have moved them, I just do a line top or a line bottom, whatever you want to do. Actually, I think a line bottom. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to weld this. Once you weld it, you cannot unweld. So if you're not sure you want to weld it or if you want to change anything about this later, I suggest you duplicate it and save it for later. So if you do want to unweld, you already have the one duplicated. I'm going to weld it because we're going to slice through it. And to slice through it, you can only do slicing with two images. So we're going to go into images and we're going to search spider. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I could have just done the word spider. Okay, let's move this out of the way. We're gonna make these smaller. I might have too many. I don't think I'm gonna use this one because the legs are so long, I don't think we'll see it. Oh my goodness. Who told me to do this? This is creepy. Uh, I'm going to put that spider there. Let's change the color of this. You can rotate these. I don't know. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I'm like, I'm going to duplicate this one and move it over here. Thank you, Betty. Ew. Okay. So now we want to slice this through. Let's see what happens when we select them all and slice. The slice is not lit up. You cannot slice this many images. So what we have to do is we have the creepy all welded. So that is one image. And we can tell it's one image because it's only in one layer. So let's click on these. I'm gonna click the shift key and select each one of these spiders. And I can see that they're all selected over here. This one's not selected. Oh wait. Okay, come on. Okay, and we're going to weld those spiders. Oh, we missed this one. So I'm going to click that. Hold on. I'm going to click this one. Is that one? Did I get it? No. Oh, these. Let me send two back because I can't grab that one. Here. It's right here. I can move this one up to the top. 
and it will help me grab that one first. I couldn't grab it because this was on top of it and it was only selecting those. So I can grab this one, hold shift, and then grab the others. And I have these are all included now so I can weld. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the spiders and the creepy and we're going to go down here to the left bottom button and click slice so now we have these here and we can grab these out of the way now we can just keep this like this if you want this is two layers. I can hide this, oh, wrong layer, this one, yep. I can hide that layer and just have the letters like that. Now, if you're gonna cut this out, you'd wanna do this with vinyl. Otherwise, you'd have a ton of tiny pieces. But you could um, put this on a shirt, you could put it on a card, you could do anything with this out of vinyl or just a decoration, put it on a canvas. And you have the two layers that do not overlap each other. Oh, save the file for Patreons. Okay. I will do that. I will save these in two different files so you don't have creepy and let it snow. Um, so the let it snow, do I have, let me see what I have here. This one I was trying, I turned it all to right, I think. Or is it just, all, oh, it's just all the same color. Let's make it white. Does this one, it has different, uh, I was trying different snowflakes with it. So I did the same thing with the snowflakes as I did, whoops, undo. What I didn't do is group those together. So now I can size them together. Um, what was it? Oh, I did the same thing with the spiders as I did the let it snow. What is a good printable HTV? I think, um, oh, what's that brand? You can get it. I have it in my Amazon store. I have a section for iron-on in my Amazon store. I think I have it in there. I forgot that brand. I keep wanting to call it Ariel. It's not Ariel, I think it starts with an A though. You can get it at Staples too, Staples and Office Supply Stores. Avery, that's it. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Sue and Jamie say they use StarCraft. So they like StarCraft. To be honest, I haven't used either one. I just go by what people tell me that they've liked. I'll add StarCraft in my Amazon store if I can. Um, do we have any questions about any of this? Is there another word you want me to try? and add some images to. You can also, um, let's do an, oh, let's do capitals. We're gonna do mermaid, and we are going to go to images. Yeah, you can do a uh, print and cut on what I just did. If you wanted, okay, let's go back for a minute. If you wanted to do print and cut with this, just select it and click flatten. And then it's one image. As you can see here, it's all one image and it will all print just like that. I'm gonna undo though, because I don't wanna save it as print and cut. Uh, but if anybody does want it, that's all they have to do. Let's do mermaid. Move the letters together. Oh, fall with leaves. Yeah, totally can do that. Images. Um, 
backgrounds and textures. Did you guys know this filter is here? Click this filter. There is one that is kind of look like fish scales. And I don't know what it if it's actually called that. Is it an edge to edge? Yeah, you can do images. You don't have to do words. Yes, bless mama. Anything can be print and cutted just by flattening it. Here it is. This is scale pattern overlay from the edge to edge cartridge. Thank you, Joan. Kobe is scratching himself. That's what that noise is. Scratch in his ear. Okay, we're going to go down here. Make this bigger. We're going to duplicate this. Actually, I'm going to put this part right between those. Duplicate. Now, I did not ungroup the word. I'm going to select these just to make sure they're lined up and align. Doesn't matter, line top or bottom. Now, I cannot slice if I select all this because they're all not one so i'm going to select them notice they're darker so i have them all selected i'm going to click weld so we have them welded let me make this bigger so i'm going to select them both just by dragging my mouse over both of them i have only two selected if you cannot slice it's because you have more than two or you don't have two. So we're going to slice. I'm making it smaller. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay, we're going to pull these out. Pull these out. Look how cool that is. Okay, wait, we need to change the color. Let's change this back to white. Isn't that cool? Uh, I select them by clicking them with a the mouse and to do multiple ones, you can like see my mouse, I'm dragging it, holding down my mouse button and dragging that blue box across it so it touches them all. Or you can do one at a time. Thank you, Ronald. You are awesome. And then I'm holding down either my command, control, or shift key and click each one while I'm still holding that down. That's how you select them. Yeah, isn't that cool? And you could take that away and just have it like this. Or you can undo and have it like that. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to delete this because this is actually the same image in here. So are we learning today? Uh, what else did we say to do? Fall. Okay. Uh, let's go get some leaves. There are, here's the Cita spell. Love this cat's. 
Look, t-shirt. I've never seen this image. T-shirt, get it? That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I think I need to make that. So cute. Belief in yourself. I love these. These are all in access. Okay, let's go back and look for leaves. Or I could put the singular. Thank you for subscribing. These are good ones. I like these. What are these from? Just so you know, straight from the nest. They're in excess. Uh, Maxine, look in my Cricut, on, in my Amazon store, in the Cricut favorites. Um, actually... Here, I'll give you the link to the craft board. And you can choose what color you want. Here, Maxine, I'm putting it in the chat. I do get a little commission from that link if you use that. Okay, so we're going to add the leaves. Let's add the text. Fall. Move them closer together. Okay, we're going to have to ungroup this because this F is just too far. So I'm going to weld these. And you can change, you know, if you want it like this or this. And... Okay, now these leaves are all together. You can ungroup them if you want. Let's send the fall to the back. Click arrange and send to back. And you could make these bigger leaves if you wanted. I'm gonna duplicate. And I'm gonna turn them around because I don't want them all the same. down here duplicate again Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find this fall, which I moved it to the back, so it's all the way down the bottom. I'm gonna hide the fall. I'm gonna click the eye and hide that, so I can just select all of this and weld it together. Let's bring back the fall. And then we're going to select them both. And we only have two selected, the top one and the bottom one. And we're going to slice. And we are going to move these out of the way. Let's move this to the back. I can't see it. Thank you, Catherine.
it's there. I, let's change the color. There we go. Where's the, it's way down here on bottom. Let's change that to brown. Let's group it just so I can move it. Is that cool? Whoops. Let me group this one so this can be moved. And I will save all these in different files. Do you guys want to see how we save them in different files? Is that something you would, would teach you something? <laughs> Have you guys learned something today? And you guys, it's really easy. You just have to remember the steps. The word has to be either not ungrouped or welded, and then you have to just place the different, you know, spiders or leaves or snowflakes around, weld those together, and then slice everything. Okay, show you how to save it into a different file. So this file is called Let It Snow. Um, so I'm going to delete all of the snow projects. Um, we're going to unhide all this. So everything that I see that has snowflakes, I'm going to get rid of. I was playing around with the snowflakes a lot. Snowflake border. So this is how I save. I go in and start a lot of files with one file, like especially with a card. I go in and save it um, as it is. Oh, you know what? Because I'm gonna use this with different projects, I'm gonna save this as it is. Um, I don't know what I call this. I'm just going to call it slicing words. This is not one that I would. I'm saving this as the original so I can create more files. And it's taking a while because I have so many cuts in there. Okay, let's get rid of these. Nobody needs these. All right, so we're going to save just the creepy. So what I'm going to do is delete all this. Don't worry, it'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to click Save As. Creepy. Okay. So now this is saved. Let's go to my projects. So here's my creepy. Here's my snowflakes. Those are good still. Uh, let's go back and open up the slicing one. I'm going to click customize. Thank you, Catherine. That's amazing. You guys are awesome. I have the best subscribers ever. Yes, I'm saving all the files. Um, okay, this came back at 100% and I had it. No, okay, so now let's save the, we can delete the creepy. We can delete all these leaves. Just selecting them. We can delete the mermaid. Because remember, we have all those in that other file called Slicing Words. So now we're going to click Save As Fall 
sliced leaves. Because I already have a bunch of fall ones, maybe called fall, so I just wanted to make it a different file. There is no way to save this as a SVG for somebody without, there's like no way to export it from Design Space. So we have this one saved. I'm gonna move it up here and just, whoops, I clicked to make it cancel. Now, okay, now see, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna make it smaller. Because it's so big, it is on two mats like this. Let's just go ahead and make this smaller and zoom out 100%. So it's much smaller. Now, if you wanted to do this, you don't have to do both images. If you want to just do it like this and do it on a, like a hot mess canvas or something, that would be really cool. Okay, if you did that, you can't see it so well. <laughs> I'm gonna make this small. That's just so big. You can change it to whatever size you like. Okay, so now let's go back to my projects and we'll do the mermaid. Click customize. If you're on a phone and you want to get rid of the chat that's going over your screen, uh, you can swipe to the left or right or swipe down or up and it gets rid of the chat. Okay, so now we have to do mermaid, right? Okay, so I'm just going to grab everything and delete it. Move this up, make it smaller. This is really big. It's over 11.5, so let me make it smaller. There. And of course, you can change colors and everything else like that. So we're gonna go back up to save. Click Save As. Mermaid sliced. Now, if you wanted um, to add more to this, you could totally do that and then save it. Um, like, what are some mermaid sayings? Like, um, I don't know. You can add words to this, to the top of it, to the bottom of it, all of that. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Leslie. You can add purple. There. The things are purple now. Thanks, Letitia. You can change the thing. Yay, we got a new member. And I don't think the last member showed up. I don't know why that's not showing up. Oh, well, no, that is. Okay. So... Have you guys learned something new? I know I've said that a million times. Is there something else you want me to show you? Do we have any questions about anything in Design Space that you've wanted to know? There she is, Betsy with the cheerleader. Thank you, Betty. On the iPad, what is the camera button to use for? Um, 
The camera button is just you so you can see the project. Like if you're making this mermaid and you wanted to put it on your wall, you could kind of see how it looks on your wall. It's just, you know, for that, just to kind of see what it might look like on a project. I'll make something using my brand new digital paper. What? Here, I was playing around with this. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I had to say that. This paper here is only available for Patreon supporters. And let me see if I can show you. Let me, I want to show you guys the Patreon. Yeah, here it is. Let me open this up. Okay, for those of the people that support me on Patreon, thank you, Roberta. They get these for free. These are exclusive to Patreon. So this is the one that Happy Birthday is made of. And I love this one too. And I love this one. And then we have the black and the white and um, a few others. So Patreon supporters who support me have $5 or more get all of these. Just for free, they download it. It's the only place to get it. Um, Patreon supporters who support of $1 or more get this one right here, which is also done with the happy birthday. Okay, out of the way. So that's this one. And then I was playing around with this. This is from my new set, Suzette, and it's purple and teal, but it's the same image and just changed colors. So... I just wasted time in here one day, to be honest, and was playing, and I just made these squares, check a board. I just wanted to see what it looked like, like this. So I was playing around with that, making um, some images. Okay, can you show me how to import the digital papers? Sure. So to di download the digital paper, you click upload down here. It's on the left all the way to the bottom. You go to pattern fill, upload patterns, browse, and, oh, this is desktop. These are back in June. That's when I started designing these. Um, let me see if there's one I haven't uploaded. I think I've uploaded most of them. Let's do this one, I'm not sure. So it has the name because the image already has a name and it's kind of got some blue, a little yellow. So I add those. Um, I had texture, geometric. Uh, I'm going to add that one too. These are just like tags. So when I go to search for them, and search is coming for those, and click save. Now, these take a long time to save. So I'm just going to go back here and... Let's add a shape. Well, I had to this. And then to see the patterns, we're going to click on print and then the pattern. And then this is going to bring up the papers. Here's the ones I have recently uploaded. Uploaded one twice. Here's some other ones I've uploaded. 
There's a picture I uploaded as a pattern. And could, these are all my, it shows, right now it shows what you've uploaded first. And then these, you get down to the Cricut ones. I love these. Aren't they beautiful? Love those by Jen Goody. Um, but let's go. I'll use the one that is actually available for sale. Um, is it best to download the large or smaller digital papers? It depends on your image. Uh, I usually start with the squares, the 12 by 12s. But if you have um, an image that's more taller or more portrait, then you might want to do the other one, the 8.5 by 11. So this takes a little while. These are big files. And I'm streaming live on the internet while I'm doing it. So it always takes more time. Sponsors do not get the paper, Betsy, because of there's no way to download it. If I can figure out that but sponsors do get 60% off the paper oh yeah vertical words would be good with that I did show how to do vertical words I don't know if it was last week or this week oh it was also taking a little while because this was uploading and now that's done so you can go in and also edit when you click on it and see these, the edit button is down at the bottom. See my mouse down there? Click edit, shows it here. You can make the pattern smaller. You can make it bigger. Thank you, Lisa K. You can rotate it. You can flip it. Now remember, it's not flipping just the part you can see. It's flipping the entire paper. And because we have it so big, if we put it back down to 100%, You can see the difference. Oh, and it's rotated. And I think these are great with words. Uh, like that. Uh, Let's do Arial. Oops. Arial. Why am I lost at spelling Arial? There it is. Had a brain fart. Um, I'm not going to mess with that a lot. I'm going to change it to print patterns. And actually, you could. This is a really pretty one I like for fall. This is from what set is that from? I think the Holly set. I know I love this happy birthday too. It almost looks like yarn. I could also edit this one. Where's it at? Let's, oh, I can't because I'm doing this one. Um, 
Rhinestone designs can be done, but not easily in design space. Uh, how to offset lettering. I just use design space um, fonts that have more than one uh, layer. It's not yet available in design space to do offset. Uh, I design a lot of my digital papers from paintings. This was done from painting and stencils. Um, was, oh, I was going to play with this. Happy birthday. And edit. And make it bigger. Oh, that's pretty. See how it changes the look of it just by changing um, it bigger? Thanks, Jamie. Jamie shared a link to get my digital paper. And I have a code to get my digital paper. And the code expires at the end of this month. Let me look up the code. Because <laughs> I forgot what it was. So you can save 15%. If you're a Patreon supporter or a member of the channel, you get 60% off. So to be honest, it's a lot smarter to pay a dollar to get the 60% off coupon on Patreon. Um, the 15% off coupon code is Suzy Sale, S-U-Z-Y-S-A-L-E. I'll put it in chat. You get 15% off. And the 60% off code is on Patreon. I can't share that here. Uh, Betsy is asking where I go to get my files. She just became a member of my channel. So you go to my YouTube community. Let me go here. I'll show you. So you can just click on my name on any video and it will take you to um, my page here. This is my YouTube page. This is the video we're watching right now. These are past videos. Here's uh, other past design space classes. Some fall crafts, about the knife blade, pop-out panel cards. And I do try to change these once in a while. Large paper flowers. I have a couple more large paper flowers coming. Um, so to get my files, if you're on the community or if you're on a member, because you click this join button, uh, you go to community. And some of these are sales or just information I share, and they're to everybody. Some of them are members only. So if you see the members only, <coughs> those are the special ones just for you. If you are not a member, you do not even see this post. Um, here's the members only uh, post. Thanks, Letitia. Uh, to where you get the 60% off digital paper. You have to click on read more. I'm not going to click that or I give that away and I would have to change that code. And then this one is just saying to everybody that it's released um, and showing some sales and some projects. So this is a members only project so you can get this advent calendar I made. Uh, you get the file by clicking on read more and the file shows up. And this is actually in, I think, four different files because it was too big to put all in one file. Uh, so you have to scroll down to get, here's one uh, file that you get. And... You have to scroll down a little bit to get all my files and I th 
because we had to put them all because YouTube does not allow us to post too many things in one but when you just keep scrolling down and then there's a list of a lot of them here's the one with the little heart box you get that file and so those of you who are not on Facebook Here's this one. Um, you can come here to see the sales and stuff. Wow, I forgot about all these. You also get to join in the secret hangouts. I should go back and delete the sales. The sales that are no longer on sale, I think I might go back and delete those so we don't have to scroll back so far. Sound like a good idea? Okay, here are the projects. Here's vinyl projects. Here's projects by type and more projects by type. And um, I think these are by occasion and occasion. So you have to go back pretty far. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, next week, I'm going to have my assistant go through and delete all posts that are no longer valid. So it'll be easier. So thanks for asking that question and making me scroll so far. So I'll try to make it easier for you guys. To be a YouTube member, you just click this and it's $4.99. I didn't make the price. I wish I could give every single one of you just for subscribing these emojis, but YouTube does not make that possible. They put a charge of $4.99 a month, and then these are the perks that you get. I thought I added one. So are there any other last minute questions? It's been almost an hour. I'm gonna go back through your questions. How did I make the purple and blue pattern into different? Um, I went to shapes, added a square. I made the square just an inch big that's not an inch, but let's just say it is. Um, well, I've changed the site. These were, I started with an inch and duplicated. And I put, thank you, Ronald. You are amazing. I'm going to change the color of one. So I just kind of measured there, then added another one, measured another inch and okay I just duplicated I didn't keep doing this and then I took well here let me go ahead and I'll put this back let's do it here so I try to line these up well these are an inch they're like three quarters line these up every inch and it took a while then move this here, try to do an inch. Then I took this out and like align to top so they're even. And I lined more up here and just I just created these boxes and welded them together. Thank you, Pamela. You also, if you're a new member, notice you have a badge next to your name. Let me show you. So you, you start out new with just the badge, and then after a month you grow antennas, and two months you grow a body. Six months, I don't think I've been doing it six months yet, you grow arms, and then a year you have full body, two years you get a purple cricket. 
Um, so back to this, I just welded them together. And then once they're welded together, I could go in and add the thing. And actually look, I just, and these are the same, these are two different, um, the purple and the teal were the same image in different colors that you get with my set. That's really kind of cool. I like that. Ooh, let's change the other one to this one. It's taking so long because there's so many. Okay. Yeah, Mary, um, when you click join, you get the emojis. Melanie, you did not win. Uh, there are two Hanukkah files, I think. I made some cards with some Hanukkah images, but they're images that I used from Design Space. So if you don't own the images, you have to buy them. They're cards I made from Hanukkah files in Design Space. I can try to make more Hanukkah if you want. Yeah, okay, if you got an email, you're good. Um, through Patreon, you don't get the badge. I wish I could do that, but YouTube doesn't give me the option. Uh, how do you find files by Design Space? Right now, there is no search option for the community projects. So community projects are projects that people share. Um, and they're done here on the bottom. You can click View All. This is actually just pretty much a project that's in access. And uh, they can't be uploaded images, so they're all just used with images in Design Space. And you still have to own the images. Like this one, you would have to buy the Incredible Kid one, I think. That, yeah. So you have to own all of these images in order to cut them. I do own them, so it has a cost of zero down here. And to find your own profile, you click... Did you see where I clicked? Right here on these three dots, three lines. View profile. So here are some files that I have shared with everybody. Yeah, the hour went by fast. Um, for Day of the Dead, I think I do have a card in some things, uh, but they're from Design Space. There are images. I don't need to replace that one, I don't think. I'm going to search dead. I only search one word. And see, here's Day of the Dead images in design space. Ronald, thank you. <laughs> thank you.
Thank you, Ronald. You're amazing. Um, and when is your next golf cart trip? I will try to do that soon. And I'll probably be doing more, hopefully, um, with the weather getting better. By, I mean that, I mean cooler. And maybe not so rainy. Uh, Donna, when somebody shares to the community, like shares to Facebook from the community, you can find it. They're, they will be adding a search option so you can search images in the community. Uh, that might happen, I don't, sometime this fall. For those of you that didn't see, Barb Culp won this. And Maria Escobar won this. So is Maria in here? Somebody asked if they won, and I'm like, now I'm thinking, was it her? Thank you guys so much. My hair got a mess during this video. Don't know how that happened. There's puppy cam. If you're on my Facebook, I put a mermaid outfit on Carly and a um, scuba diver outfit on him. He didn't like it. It was one that he looks like a man. It had fake arms in the front. So I also shared it on Instagram. He didn't like that at all. But she didn't mind her. She had a blue wig on and a fin. It was cute. Yay, Polly's getting braver with her maker. All you have to do is practice and play. Just play and don't worry about how uh, things turn out at first. It's okay to mess up. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn. <laughs> Joan says the spider scared my hair straight up. Yeah, my hair, all of us, I'm going to get my hair colored today though, so we'll be good. All right, guys, I will see you next Saturday, and of course, there'll be a few videos before next Saturday, but I will definitely see you next Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern Time on this channel. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell. Thanks, guys. You guys are awesome.